A while back I was asked to build a throne for a Relay for Life event, and because the timeline was short, I decided I'd look around the internet and see what I could find. And I happened across a design for a throne that was made out of a single sheet of plywood. The original builder had a lot of detail on his website, including all the dimensions and including uh, his uh, layout for his 4x8 sheet of plywood. And I thought, wow, we should be able to get this done pretty quick. I started by attempting to import the original throne drawing that was posted on the website. And the format and the image really wasn't suitable for just a straight import. It was pretty muddy. Using the author's original dimensions, I was able to uh, draw my own 2D sketch in Fusion 360 and uh, build my solid models off of that. After I had the sketch finished, the uh, parts were extruded and assembled into the final chair, ensuring that everything would fit together uh, once it came off the router table. All the small inside details were done uh, with a quarter inch uh, end mill. And here you can see the in the simulation, uh, those were completed first. After that, it was followed by a half inch uh, end mill, uh, just a straight flute standard router uh, end mill, and it made quick work of it. I had a pretty nice sheet of maple plywood, and so it was cut from that. Uh, here it is on the router table, worked out perfectly. The tangs were rounded over using a router, and then everything was dry fit. The uh, armrests and the other wood details were made from solid material. I felt like it would look better. Uh, we also went with a more squarish look. I liked it. Here's the throne fully assembled with the uh, wedges in the tangs. It holds together amazingly tight and looks really good. Of course, we couldn't resist uh, putting it on a wheelchair base just to see how it would fit. The original idea was to make it like a rickshaw using some bicycle wheels or, or wheelchair wheels, uh, but we couldn't find anything in the size we needed. But what we did find were some like 16 inch lawn and garden tires. So we made those work. The idea was to conceal the big tires underneath the throne and make it look like it was almost floating in the air. I dug around the shop and found a couple of uh, 6204 uh, bearings. They're 47 millimeter OD, 20 millimeter ID. And we designed the uh, pillow blocks and the axle around those bearings. Even a seemingly simple part like this will have a number of operations and uh, various tools. So we started off by facing the stock. Uh, we then used a 3D adaptive strategy uh, to uh, bulk down most of the material. We followed that up with uh, some pocketing operations to clean up the bottoms and also uh, to uh, bring everything to final dimension. Uh, everything was contoured. Uh, following the contour, it was drilled and finally uh, chafered to uh, break all the edges, make it look professional. This is the uh, tires and the axle. A wheelie bar was added so it won't tip over backwards. After all the fabrication was completed, it was taken for a test run around campus. It was a hit. Upon the throne's return from the Relay for Life event, it was quickly uh, repurposed and attached to the uh, wheelchair base uh, using a basic plate arrangement. Uh, the graphics were updated with our team logo, and uh, thanks Alex for, for that wonderful work. And then Mr. White, our first robotics coach, stopped by out of retirement and took it for a spin. It's been a lot of fun.